Here is your reminder to keep calm and sparkle on. How are you doing today, lovelies? It's Monday. I haven't really done much. I'm um, just looking over some footage and editing. By the time this vlog goes up, you'll have seen my Little Mermaid Ariel cosplay. That's pretty much the content that I've been making. Little reels or TikToks, videos, an ASMR video, the photos, all that stuff. That's what I have been doing today. It's a little toasted today, but so far I'm surviving. Okay, scratch that, I just jinxed myself. I said I was surviving, and then I went to plug in the cord, and I don't know why computers have feel the need to have the USB ports on the back of the computer, but I went to reach around, and I pretty much smacked my mouth onto my computer corner, and I got a fat lip going on. I jinxed it. think so you do yeah it's pretty early to be bitching so much yeah okay have a nice day all right it's kind of cool today so i think i'm going to wash the vehicles Well, the outside of my car is pretty much done. It had been parked under this tree, so I had to like, you know, get the nooks and crannies of cleaning all the different little pieces of, you know, branches and plants and goo and all that jazz um, to clean the outside of my car. Inside of my car is a different story. There's like, I need it to be vacuumed and wiped down and all of that fun stuff, but I don't really want to use I don't really want to use my indoor vacuum. I could drive it to, I could drive it to like a vacuum place, but I still have to get tags and insurance back on it since it's been sitting. So it's a process. I did forget to tell you that while I was outside working on my car, um, this sales guy comes up and usually I can't stand them because they're super annoying and pushy, but this guy was actually really nice. so wasn't that big of a deal uh, and then uh, I went to shake his hand goodbye after talking to him and I literally ate shit on the hose and about fell on the ground caught myself in front of the attractive salesman how's your day going is that her <gasps> is that mommy oh my goodness <laughs> It's happening, it's happening. Movie time, movie time, movie time. Boom. <laughs> First movie yes. in years, and yes. for Black Widow yes. and the Marvelness. We're ready. Yes. Ooh, look, Suicide Squad. Sorry, I had a DC squirrel moment. That's what we got going. Ghostbusters, heck yes. Halloween Kills, heck yes. What theater are we in? We're in eight. Where's eight? Oh, eight's way down here. Shang Chi looks really good too. Candyman. All the things. Oh, we just saw Black Widow, finally! No spoilers though. Maybe I'll talk about it a little bit later in the vlog, but still won't do any spoilers because I don't want to spoil people. All right, so Black Widow, no spoilers whatsoever. I really enjoyed the movie. There's a couple things that I have questions on, but I don't wanna spoil 
anything. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed the movie. It was like a breath of fresh air to be back in the theater again. Um, my theater was pretty much empty, so that was nice too, and I had a really great seat. Um, but yeah, I really thought the cast was incredible, and the new characters that were introduced, and you know, Natasha was great and I can't wait to see more things. Um, there is an after credit scene if you haven't seen it. Um, please stay. Every time people get up in like the movie theater, I just want to scream at them. It's a freaking Marvel movie. Where are you going? Where are you going? But I didn't scream at the people, so that's good, but I, I really enjoyed it. Um, I can't wait for it to be on Disney Plus again because I would love to watch it again. Um, I want one of the Black Widow suits so bad, like the newer black one or the white one. They're so cool. I want one so bad. Um, what else? Oh, and then like I am, um, one of my friends told me that they've officially casted Batgirl for a, an HBO Max movie, I think, and she's gonna be Barbara Gordon. I've been waiting for this movie forever. Barbara Gordon and Batgirl are like one of my favorite all-time characters since I was a child. Please don't fuck this up, DC. Please don't screw this up. I need this movie. Me sitting here now, debating what I have in my closet to do some sort of Natasha cosplay. When you go to a craft store and someone is messed up, <laughs> the stuff falls Hmm. Maybe it wasn't intentional. So, I was woken up today to quite a start. This woman that I'm related to, I don't know who that might be. The woman that, you know, carried me for nine months. Went outside to play with the bees. She is allergic to bees, folks! But she went outside to play with the bees and got stung. So we're dealing with that now. She claimed she wasn't actually playing with the bees, but I question if that's an accurate story or not. I told her to not play with the bees or the wasps or the hornets, whatever it was that stung her. So good morning. I don't know. I think it might be infected and there's like a bunch of goo all over it. I don't know. Okay, it's baking soda, but that's, you know, ha 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 ha. So this day has just been a little weird. Like I woke with a start. <laughs> My mom telling me that she'd been stung by a bee and or a wasp. I think it was probably like a wasp of some kind. So bit or whatever works. And so then like we immediately went into like crazy mode on I assisted with an EpiPen and did the like baking soda on the spot and all that jazz and then she's been in contact with the hospital and it's pretty much turning into a better safe than sorry like thing to go get checked out because in the past she has been severely allergic to bees and wasps so and then i've always heard that even like if you have an epipen after you use the epipen you should still be seen that's what i've always heard so that's kind of what i pushed her she doesn't want me to go with her because of still COVID and everything. So I'm just here. And I guess I'm gonna just do some work. Mm, let's go get some cosplay pieces. Let's go get some cosplay pieces. Hi guys. I don't even know what day it is. So I ran a couple errands. I'm still watching my mom to make sure that her allergic reaction doesn't go crazy or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I went and got a, stopped by the thrift store to get this cosplay piece that I was like, I could probably get that pretty expensive at the um, thrift store. Heck yes, you can. And then I just hit up um, Dollar Tree for this makeup that is like gonna work to cover up part of my tattoo. Instead of using like my, my face makeup that maybe is a little bit more expensive, I'm gonna attempt to cover up the half sleeve for a cosplay shoot Day or in the coming days so we'll see how that goes I need to invest and look into I know that some cosplayers use some like specific makeup for covering up tattoos um, usually my wrist ones I don't really care but the half sleeve is kind of big for certain characters that specifically do not have tattoos 
So I'm just eating some lunch before I decide if I'm gonna get in a cosplay or do some filming or just some work. And I'm scrolling TikTok because that's my life now. And it's very entertaining. And I follow some cosplayers and some people that used to be friends, wink wink, with princesses at Disneyland. Wink wink if you know what that means, just in case there's children in the room. And I'm listening to some of their stories from when they had that job. And I did not realize that it was such a common thing for like creepy dads or creepy uncles or just creepers in general to like hit on the princesses or make really disgusting comments. I mean, of course they have to deal with that. Why wouldn't they have to deal with that? What a ridiculous shit show. Like, <laughs> you can't even like be appropriate at Disneyland. I just, I didn't even, like, it didn't dawn on me that they would have to experience that, but of course they would. That's horrible. Don't be a creeper to the princesses. On that same note, too, I've seen some stories of, like, women creeping on, like, Peter Pan and some other, like, male characters as well. Like, just everyone. I don't care what your gender is. Like, don't be creepy to... The people at Disneyland, the characters at Disneyland, what is wrong with you? You freaking nasties. Okay, we all knew this would happen because of the movie. I had not planned to do any sort of Black Widow cosplay because I was like, mm, maybe a lot of people will be doing it because of the movie, but then I see the movie and the suits. The suits are gorgeous. I want one of the Black Widow suits. They're so pretty, but alas, I do not have one of the suits and I do not have the funds to buy one of the suits. So. I'm doing my interpretation of a Black Widow look. I made some props last night and I'm gonna going through some wigs right now and I should be working on some other cosplays, but saw the movie and I'm inspired. We all knew this would happen. Out adulting and getting a cabinet for my kitchen for more storage, heck yes, more storage. And um, chilling with my puppy. The AC does that feel good? Gorgeous lilies are finally blooming. They've been just ponds for a long time. Little bean. He's like, no, I'm sleeping, bitch. Oh, there he's like, no, do not touch me. Do not touch me. Hey, lilies. What's up? Welcome to Saturday. I don't think I did much vlogging yesterday, or today really. Um, I got up and I went grocery shopping, living that crazy life. And um, I'm doing some prep work right now to get ready to film some personalized videos. And yeah, I'm making coffee to burst that energy level. Also, have I been wearing the same Marvel shirt off and on for a couple days? Mm -hmm. Totally have. But you see, it's really comfortable. And I just, I can't classify it as, like, dirty because I've worn it, like, two seconds going out to run an errand and then I come home and usually change into, like, comfy housewear. So it doesn't really count, does it? I don't know. You will either understand what I'm saying on this side of things or you'll think I'm a crazy weirdo lady that's, like, wearing smelly t-shirts, but I don't know. It's a very comfortable Marvel shirt, so. Coffee. Sitting on my floor in front of the fan. Uh, tried to start filming and I think I underestimated how hot it actually is today and I can't have this huge fan going while I'm filming so um, It might be a long day 